your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. Because I was in radio so long, I ran across a lot of stories about UFOs. And it's always interesting when you find a video that purports to be a UFO sighting. The other night, there was a full moon, and I decided to record the video as I was riding in a friend's car. And here's how it turned out. Of course, you're looking at footage of the moon, but I have seen worse videos claiming to be UFO sightings. And when the car moves past a pole and the moon goes behind it, because you don't realize you're in a moving car in the video, it looks as though the object is moving. Peter Davenport is head of the UFO Reporting Center. He says sightings, though, go way back. We have sighting reports on file that go back to the 1930s, the 1920s, the 1860s. And we have one very interesting article from the Tacoma newspaper in 1893 of an object that was seen to rise out of Puget Sound and shoot out a bolt of light render a man unconscious. One of the earliest UFO sightings reported to a radio station where I was working was back when I was 18 years old. A lot of people called. Many more had called the local police department. There's a strange red light in the sky to the west, they said. It was a foggy night, and it was the first night that a cable TV tower they were building had become tall enough they had to put a light on it. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.